Has this ever happened to you? You've been enjoying your favourite vape flavour for two, three days, maybe even a month, maybe even six months, and out of nowhere you can no longer taste the flavour that you really, really enjoy. Well, you may be suffering from something called vapor's tongue, something we, as vapors, all have tended to experience at some point where the flavour just diminishes and we don't know why. My name is Megan from Vapable and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to help get rid of vapor's tongue and get back to enjoying the flavour that you love. Tip number one, maybe you're just too used to the flavour. If you're someone that tends to stick to one single flavour, um, a certain brand of e-liquid, eventually you're just not going to be able to taste it as much because your body becomes used to it. Similar with your sense of smell, um, say with a perfume or an aftershave, after about 10-20 minutes you won't be able to smell it on yourself, but other people will be able to smell it on you. You just need to reset your palate. That's the main thing that you need to do in this instance. Try something new. You may find another another flavour that you really, really enjoy and you can switch between the two when you feel that vapor's tongue kicking in. Tip number two. Very, very similar to the first tip that we've given you in this instance. Maybe try adding a little bit of menthol into the mix. So if you're someone, say for example, that bake straight up black currants and you're starting to find that you can't taste it anymore maybe add a little bit of menthol a little bit of coolant to that because it helps just brighten the flavor as well but it will help to reset your palate so you can continue to enjoy the flavor if you're like me and you don't massively like menthol the tiniest tiniest little drop of colada will do the trick tip number three drink some water I know it sounds really silly and it's something that we should be doing anyway. You should be drinking quite a bit of water each day. Keep yourself hydrated, keep yourself healthy. But what you will tend to find is some e-liquids will give you like a dry mouth kind of feel to them. And that is an indication that you need to hydrate your mouth. What you'll tend to find is when your tongue is dehydrated as with the rest of your mouth, you won't be able to taste flavors as effectively. So go chug some water, have a drink and reset your palate. Tip number four. Now this one's gonna come across as a little bit cheeky and we don't mean to offend anyone when we say this, but oral hygiene is really important to your ability to taste. So brush your teeth, use some mouthwash, clean out all the stuff that's in your mouth and you'll find that your tongue will be able to, um, to taste flavors better. Vegetable glycerin, which is used in a lot of e-liquids, is, is well known for coating the tongue. Once something has coated your tongue, similar to if you, you've had quite a strong coffee um, with milk in, you will not be able to taste as well as you could. So give your teeth a quick brush, swig some mouthwash, and you should be fine. Tip number five. Maybe you just need to take longer breaks between actually vaping. If you're anything like me, I am a massive, massive chain vapor. So I tend to find that I lose flavors a lot quicker than other people who maybe have to go to, to regimented breaks during their work times. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself longer um, longer breaks between actually vaping and you should notice the difference in the flavor. Tip number six, coffee beans. Now it's a bit of a weird one and it's one that no one who works at Vapable has actually tried to see if it works. But we have seen a lot of other people um, say that it does work quite well for them. So we are including it on this list. Apparently, if you were to smell coffee beans, it helps to reset your palate to allow you to smell more. The reason that we think it's a bit of a, an out there one when it comes to being able to reset your palate for vapor's tongue is unless you've got an actual coffee machine at home which uses beans to cup, you're not going to have coffee beans readily available to use and you're going to have to go out and buy a bag of coffee beans just to be able to sniff when when you get a little bit of vapor's tongue so we think it's a little bit out there but apparently it works really really well for people who work in the perfume industry and people that do wine tasting so if it works for them why can't it work for us if you want to go out and buy some coffee beans to be able to do that more power to you so those are our tips and tricks to help you combat vapor's tongue we hope they help and they get you back to enjoying the flavors that you know and love we do have one side note that we would like to include in this video. If nothing that we have told you is helping, please, please, please go and visit your GP and make sure that it is nothing underlined and that you are completely fine. Your sense of smell and your sinuses are very, very closely linked to your sense of taste. They work together extremely well. 
so it could be something else. So if nothing that we have said help, has helped combat vapor's tongue, please, please, please go and visit your GP and let's make sure that everyone is being completely safe. Thank you very much for watching our video today. We do hope that these tips and tricks have helped you to combat vapor's tongue. If you'd like what we've done here today, please give our socials a follow. We're available on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We also have a Facebook community group that you are more than welcome to come and join. Come and have a chat. I'm in there quite a lot, always having a bit of a laugh with customers. Why not? It's a good time. I've been Megan from Vaporable. See you next time.